investment target so high? It's unrealistic. And you're right in asking me, why is it so low? It's a question of, uh, I suppose, recognizing disinvestment will have to happen with all the process and also the question of timing your disinvestment. Uh, I've also been asked why during the COVID stock market has been performing very well. This is the best time you should have done it. It could be, but it's not just the stock market which decides on a public asset to be disinvested. There are so many other factors. Yes. I have to take everybody on board and move. So certainly these are things which to be accountable, we mention it in the budget. To be accountable at every point in time, we have to answer questions of the media about it. But it also involves a lot of working together and taking a lot of people together and moving forward. So naturally, it does consume time. No, in many ways, you know, there have been many budgets in the past that I have been tracking. Always the disinvestment figure is a fancy number and, you know, you don't end up achieving it. So in that sense, of course, a conservative number is always good. Yeah. But I thought since, you know, you had such successes behind you, uh, you know, it, it looked like, but, but I suppose, you know, you're, uh, it's, it's better to be conservative from your point of view. Uh, the other big headline, and, you know, uh, everyone is wanting more, more from you on that, uh, is the digital currency by RBI. Uh, when is it likely to happen? Some details that you could share uh, at this point? When, it is, uh, when is it likely to happen is something which uh, I can only answer by saying one word, sooner rather than later. Because uh, once it goes through the parliament, I've just placed it there, it has to get cleared. And post that, uh, the RBI will move forward to take the cabinet approval and then go ahead with issuing the digital uh, rupee, I suppose. So it should happen sooner. And it will have a new name, different name? Well, we don't know yet. Oh. That's some call which subsequently the cabinet has to take. Okay. Finance Minister, one more uh, thing that is, you know, the economists are talking about. Uh, you know, they feel that you have underestimated your tax revenue for the, for the next year. And why? I think it also stems from the fact that even in FY 2020, 22, you revised it from 15.45 lakh crore to about 17.65 lakh crore. So do you think that uh, there is a merit in this argument that the tax collections actually could be, tax revenue could be actually much more next year and there is an underestimation of some More kind? than merit, I would hope for it. Yeah. I would hope for it, but because it's a matter of hope, I can't really already uh, guess it in advance and put it as I'm sure about it. It can't be sure. I can't be sure about it. I hope and the indicators show that, yes, there is room for, uh, you know, more. it to be revised. But uh, I'll hold my guard on it. You'd ra rather err on the side of sort of caution and Absolutely. conservatism. Absolutely. I think uh, finance is an area where cons being conservative is not wrong. Yeah. I think con being conservative, not too much, but being conservative is also being responsible. You know, what I could pick up from the Secretary's conversations on television last night, uh, is it some kind also, is it some kind of a cushion uh, to cut fuel excess, excise in the coming, in the coming days uh, with, uh, you know, oil at 90, uh, $90 a barrel? Is that something weighing on, uh, you know, weighing on I your mind? I don't know whether if it is oil, meaning fuel, there are always elements of surprises through a year uh, when you're dealing with the the country's finances. Look at the past year. One of the big surprises or one of the big thing on which we didn't want the end consumer, who were the farmers in this case, yes. to be affected, you saw the way in which the urea prices went up. Right. Went up unbelievably high and we are an import dependent country, Absolutely. particularly when you wanted uh, some of these very important uh, urea matters, uh, some of the phosphates and so on. You had to import them at that price, but that price couldn't be shifted to the farmer. End of the day, the farmer shouldn't be burdened by it. And therefore, not only you're importing it at a higher price, but you're also making sure that price is 
upon you rather than upon the farmer. Nirmala Sita Raman Purna Sandarshanavanu Nivu CNN News 18, CNBC TV 18, Matu News 18.com slash money control Nali Vikshisabahudu. Nortari News 18 Kannada, Jala Namadu, Bala Nimadu.